Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna do a little review on the Traxxas Stampede 4x4. Uh, well, first off, it's got a Valenion motor. I don't know if the, I don't know if I pronounced that right. This is the Traxxas Stampede 4x4. If I already said that. Um, stock tires, they're pretty good, pretty soft. They got foam inserts. Have okay traction. Definitely not the best, but pretty good for stock. Uh, we got the VXL 3S. Uh, it's all waterproof. Once again, Valenion. Uh, you can't see that. So I'll zoom out. Um, pretty good truck. The tires, back tires when you floor it. I don't know if it's just the truck, but uh, when you floor it, it uh, like just like the force on it, like undoes or unscrews the screw. So it makes all like, the tires wobbly. And uh, if you go like on speed runs on pavement and like you don't tighten it up constantly when you're when you're running, um, like you'll just go all crazy and then it'll just like start wobbling back and forth and then oh, draw it down. It'll start wobbling back and forth and then you'll probably just lose control or have a flip or whatever. But other than that, the uh, handling's pretty good. It's a slash four x four chassis, so that it has pretty good handling. It has really good ground clearance. Like I don't. Wait, part of the controller, like that's the ground clearance. It's pretty good. I think it's four inches from the glass. You can't really see. That's actually really bad. It's like to my hand here is four inches, and then here is two and a half to three from like the wheelbase to that front bumper thing. Um, so yeah, you have a ton of ground clearance for like grass or whatever you want to go on. Um, my running video, late in my running video, I was talking like rock climbing with this thing. It is not a good rock climber. It's not anything like that, but it's still kind of fun to go slow. With a stock battery, kind of just chill out and uh, go over some very, very, very mild terrain. So this is my first RC. Um, I had, I've always had RCs when I was younger. I always started with like the little, little, you know, Hot Wheels kind of thing going on. And then I like got up to like the Nyko and I got some Radio Shack stuff. But uh, this is my first like hobby grade and I love it. I think I've had it. I've had it since like Christmas. And uh, yeah, well I love it. This is all waterproof. Water waterproof receiver. Waterproof. Well everything. Like you can just put this underneath water and then it'll just drive off perfectly. The shocks are really loose. Like they're really soft. Which can be good, which can be bad. For stock battery and uh, stock setup, like engine and gearing, all that stuff, it's perfect. Like, unless you're going off insane huge jumps, this suspension's perfect. You can get that high. That's the ground level. So, I'm gonna try to put my fist under there. Do you kind of thing. Um, all four tires right now are on the ground. Which is pretty good, and there's no battery in it, so we'll weigh it down a little bit more. So it has really good travel for, you know, what it is. Um, I had a, I got, I have a 3S LiPo for it. Love it. It's insane with 3S LiPo. It's, if I had two words to describe it, I'd say brutally insane. Cause it's just, it's crazy. But uh, you have to get this extension pack. It's like three, four dollars. That's fine. Um, so some upgrades you might need you can get rpm stuff like this you can get rpm if that ever breaks and then this like the a arms and stuff you can get that rpm rpm here uh, rpm is just like this brand for rc stuff it's really good plastic all made in the usa and then there's this t-bone racing website and company and let's tip it this upside down yeah that's my couch with the blanket and crap all over it um, there's this thing on T1 Racing, T1 Racing.com. There's like the servo, servo guard thing. That's what they call it. It's the servo, and uh, it starts here. Like there's probably it's all polycarbonate. It's probably like you probably can't really tell how thick that is, but it's, it's really thick. I don't know like the actual measurement, but it goes from here to here to here and then here. I'm going by the screen, the camera. Uh, it just covers this, so when I go uh, on like sand and stuff, and when I kick up sand. It won't get in this drive shaft, and if it gets in that drive shaft, it'll go to like your spur gears and stuff, and that'll be really bad for all like the gears and pinion gears and all that stuff. The servo is the you can't see that. It's because it doesn't focus. You can focus it before you start, 
but it's the 2075 waterproof Traxxas servo, which I think is really good servo for what it is, especially with stock battery, stock setup. Um, it's fine, <laughs> but uh, and well, it's in the you know the X05. It's a uh, the only ready to run um, vehicle that goes 100 miles an hour. They have the exact same servo, the exact same number, the exact same everything servo in that so it's pretty cool that this thing has the same thing as a thousand dollar RC for only four hundred dollars which is expensive but if you ever think about getting this or like a cheaper brand like I was thinking about getting a red cat before and uh well I'm so glad I didn't get the red cat this is all waterproof this thing's bulletproof there's huge aftermarket support with this thing there's tracks to support with this thing a great warranties great everything and just overall great truck great everything <laughs> Um, so yeah, don't get the knockoff or don't get the red cap brand. Um, what broke on it so far? Nothing on its fault. Right there, see that thing's metal? Once again, fuzzy. Um, that's called a drive output yoke. Pretty sure. Um, that comes out, see it's regular plastic. That's, that's what it looked like stock. So I had it upgraded. It was $11 for hardened steel, but you can get the stock one for like two dollars and it came with two of them and uh, I want to get the hardened steel so it wouldn't break again but uh when I got it it's for the XL5 and the Rustler which I thought was okay because it like you know they I don't think they changed that much it goes into the differential oh, I just went down right there it went down it goes in the differential fine it bolts in fine all that stuff but right here that pin I see this wobble it's not tight this is much more tight like I'm using more force than I was over here and this one just wibbles everywhere so I don't know if the less like surface area contacting like the sides see those? so you can kind of see it there uh, less surface area is gonna like act as like a knife and cut through it and it will just wear down this part more I don't know but um, you can get these uh, they're CVD hardened steels I forget who makes them but uh, you can get this hardened steel all drive shaft it goes from here all the way to the tire, and uh, those things are bomb proof. Uh, Ultimate RC Jang, uh, you can check out that channel if you haven't already. But uh, he does a review on them, and he put uh, eighth scale motor, and um, like put crazy ass tires, did everything insane um, into it, and he <laughs> could not break it in this truck, this exact truck. And you cannot break the drive shafts like those things are a tank. So if these, if this is ever like a problem with the 3S LiPo, um, you can upgrade that. It is very expensive for, well maybe not for what you get, but it's very expensive. It's fifty dollars to get those. So uh, that's definitely like the most expensive upgrade you can do on this, besides like the motors or any electronics. But uh, yeah. So anything else? I don't think so. Would I buy it again? Oh, I definitely buy it again. This thing is so much fun. Like, I just can't wait. Like, it's so much fun just going in the yard. Like, if you see my running videos, you might think that's boring to watch. And if you have never had an RC car, you might think that oh, that's so boring. Uh, well, it's not when you're driving, and it's just so much different. It's so much more fun. And I don't know. This thing's just a tank. This thing will go through anything. On my first running video, I, I think I slammed it into three trees. One was going very fast on 3S Lipo. One thing I did not like about this, and it was a pain, was the adapter. It, Trax's adapter is awesome, high voltage connection, it's it's awesome. But if you ever try to get it, like I got a Gen Z spider, it's right here. I'm charging it right now, actually. Uh, it's been charging for a while. Gen Z, 5300 milliamp hours, 3S, uh, 3C. Very good battery, but look what I had to do. I had to strip these wires and just bring them out from the battery. Uh, get these things, get this Traxxas adapter, and uh, if you guys have any questions on how I did this, I can send you like the links and stuff, and maybe I can make like, a video, because I'll probably get more batteries for this, but, um, so yeah, I had to do this, this is fine, like, it doesn't like let it, less voltage go through it, but it is kind of a pain to go through it, or to make it, so yeah, I wish Traxxas, uh, like made an adapter they don't make adapter that was a banana plug female and male banana plug adapter and uh well they don't make adapters for that into this i think they make a dean's uh a dean's plug to this 
but um, I don't think they make, or I know they don't make banana plug, male and female to this. I wish they did. I wish, like, if you can get any batteries like that, I'm zooming in, probably hear that noise, uh, into anything of this, or Traxxas, like, has an aftermarket support or something. I don't know, but it was, it was a pain. I wish they just had, like, this little, I wish they just had this. One side goes into the truck, and the other side goes into the battery, you know, just like that. Just plug it in, and you're done. I think that's probably the one thing I not like about this, because Traxxas has their own plug. But, uh, great controller. If you get the VXL version, the more expensive version, you get the 2.4 gigahertz. This controller is awesome. Um, there's so many kill saves. There's like, I don't know, probably three, four hundred different program settings you can do for the VXL. This, this, uh, VXL is insane. It's so high tech. It has power cutoffs, heat cutoffs, everything. It's, it's really, really good. So, uh, yeah. One complaint <clears throat> a lot of people have, <clears throat> which is nothing really big at all in any means, but um, see when you look at this, see how that comes up so high? It kind of looks, not cheap, but it kind of looks toyish. Well, what people do is they take this off. This is an extender. They just get rid of this, and then they get uh, this. It's not the high one. I uh, can't. Okay. It's not the high one, it probably comes up to like here on my fingernail. And uh, if you bolt that in to the bottom, uh, right there, kind of, like if you bolt it underneath this, it'll, uh, you'll like bring it down lower. So you actually be like lower kind of to the thing. It'll look so much better. It looks like an actual truck. But uh, other than that, this thing's awesome. I would, you cannot go wrong with this thing. So, uh,. Yeah, that's my review, at least for now. So, uh, see ya.